it's time to talk about plural nouns. All right, so we're going to be talking about um, how we make um, nouns into a plural form. We know that plural means more than one. We know that nouns are person, places, things, and ideas. When we write these things in our writing, we need to make sure that we spell them correctly when we add a um, plural to them, or when we make them plural, I should say. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Now today we're going to be in our blue workbook and you're going to be on page 169 which is actually just a few pages within the front. Um, it's right after the stuff that you did on um, Friday and it's got three pages worth of rules in it. Um, and so this is a lot so I'm not gonna just I'm not just gonna go on and on and on about this stuff. I'm just gonna point out a few things um, as we go along and then you guys have this in your book to refer to and you can come back to the video if you need to but you really should just need um, these few pages to go through to um, references to what the rules for each type of word and each word ending are. Alright, so let's just get right back in, uh, right into it here. Singular means one, plural means more than one. We know this. Alright, so rule one, the plural of most nouns is just adding an S. So an abundance of the nouns that you will write um, in your future will have just an S at the end. Okay, now rule number two, when a singular noun ends in S, S, H, C, H, X, or Z, you have to add an ES. So we can't say buses with an S. Okay, you can't just put an S there and put B U S S. All right, we've got to put the ES. All right, so buses, flashes, patches, sixes, and fuzzes. Okay, so that's rule number two. All right, rule number three if it ends in a vowel plus Y, a E I O U plus Y. We got all our examples right there. You just add an S. Days, donkeys, toys, guys. All right, moving on. Let's erase everything and move a little bit. All right. Um, consonant Y is our next one. So this is every other letter with Y is going to be um, change the Y to an I. So with ladies, you're going to change the Y to an add and add to an I and add E S. I, E, S, I, E, S. So, ladies, berries, babies. Okay? So, watch that Y. Okay? Vowel Y is just an S. Consonant Y is I, E, S. All right? Now, these are irregulars. Okay? Irregular means that they don't follow a rule. You just got to know it. So, you just have to know that the plural of man is men. Child, children. Goose, geese. All right? You can use a dictionary on these. That helps you. It'll show you the form. Okay? So if you're not sure, you can definitely use a dictionary. Okay? Um, six. Some are the same for plural and singular. So there's no such thing as deers or mooses. You would just say, I see that single deer standing over there, or I saw a whole group of deer over there. Okay? So there's a few words like that. Again, you can use a dictionary. It's fine. Um, now, the F to a V rule. So some of these words that end in F end in, uh, will be V. Leaf is another one, like leaf and leaves, loaf and loaves, calf and calves. Um, a lot of this is just learning this as you grow, guys, Le learning this as you get older. Um, you'll see it enough that one day you'll just realize um, what it is. Some of them do not. So roof, roofs, proof, proofs. Okay, again, kind of just got to know. All right, some end in O, it'll be S, and some it's ES. Again, you just got to know. Dictionaries are a wonderful thing, and you can definitely use online dictionaries as well. Um, and then the last rule is hyphenated, so like father-in-law would be fathers-in-law, editors-in-chief. Okay, you pluralize that, or you make plural that first word. Okay, I don't even know if pluralize is a word or not. Probably not. I think I just made that up. But I'm going to coin that and make a million dollars and quit teaching. All right. So you guys today, once you go through that, the next page in your blue book is going to be the uh, pra first practice page. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Attached to this assignment is this Google form, plural nouns. It says right here that um, the rules are on 169 and 170. That's what we just went over says also you can use a dictionary. If you don't have a dictionary, like a paper dictionary, you can use a, the computer. I'm totally fine with that. Um, this form will say like, hey, it's going to be, you know, recorded as your email address, and you're just going to click next. 
Then you're going to click your name and click next. You do that, you get 10 points. How about that? Now, from here on, this is that page. There's 15 of these. Again, this is not a 12 hour activity. Okay, go through, get what you can get, and then use a dictionary to check them. Okay, and then you'll write your answers in here. And then at the end, you always, always, always submit. Okay, and that is pretty much it, guys. Um, just go make sure you go back and refer to these pages in your book and then submit the Google form here that goes with it, and you will be good to go. Have a great, I believe, Tuesday is when this will be assigned. <laughs> Thank you.